Hey, silly bunny. We meet again. It's you. What do you want this time? Are you going to go back on your word, tough guy? Don't forget, you still owe me one. Hmm. Let's be honest. You came for this, right? You don't even know what the spark is truly capable of, do you? If I were you, I wouldn't take the spark back to Torch City. Nobody can resist the temptation of so much power. I guess you've got your sights set on the spark too. Also, stop following me. I have no interest in following a numbskull like you. Just a friendly reminder, that's all. Keep a close eye on that spark. I don't need you to remind me. What I owe you, I will repay. The Iron Dog sent their best to grab the spark. The Western Range suffered heavy casualties this time. Once this blows over, I will have the Rat Gang send medicine and supplies to the Western Range. The Legion knows that you have the spark. Cicero will come for you in person. That saves me the effort of looking for him. It's not just the Legion that has designs on the spark. No matter how hard your fist is, you can't handle everything on your own. Didn't you say you could maintain balance in Torch City? So what's- Remember the big boom? The spark is so powerful. I once thought about using the spark to level Torch Tower. That will deal a massive blow to the Legion. And then? Rat Gang takes over for the Legion? Tell me, are there any Furnizens who aren't struggling to survive? A torch city ruled by Furnizens is the future that I want to create. If you become top dog, will you continue with your old trade? Spare me your holier-than-thou act. This world is a game where the strong make the rules. In return, the strong protect the weak. Is that not fair? Would you rather trust the Legion over your own fur kind? By the way, did you run into anything on the way? And did you take the spark out? What's the problem? Bait and switch is something the Rat Gang knows all too well. Did you get it? How can you even tell? The spark intel you brought back included a trick for authentication. Let me see. <laughs> the spark finally got it! Hey, do! Don't act so surprised. Everything changed the moment I got my hands on the spark. I now have the power to drive the entire Legion out of Torch City. So you're the scoundrel trying to take over the spark. Only I can realize the true worth of the spark. You shall witness history with me, foolish rabbit. At last. My time has come! I shall become the new son of Torch City! This is insane! The spark has driven you all mad! Insanity is just a state of mind! Life is too short for me to go down without a fight! Come on! Let this nobody who lives in the past challenge the legendary Pilot! I will become the hero of Torch City! The spark is mine! You fall. Huh? Ha ha ha! Come 
complete at last. You shall now witness the true power of the Spark Raten! I have changed! I don't have to follow your pilots around and clean up messes anymore! You are nothing! Even Cicero can't possibly defeat me now! Let's go! <laughs> Come on! Why should rats always be the weak ones? Why won't the sunlight shine down on me? Eat my missile! my disappointments, shame and fury over these years, burn! Damn scrap! Give it up, too. It's over. This powered armor won't save you or Torch City. Shut up! You know nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> With the power of the spark, I can defeat you! <sighs> defeat Cicero. Defeat the Legion. <laughs> Do who was a nut who was willing to throw his life away for the spark? How could he have protected other Ferdisans? Don't feel too bad about it, Ray. It's not your fault. His henchmen don't know the truth. For the sake of all Ferdisans, the Rat Gang must hold together. Now is not the time to worry about that. What now? The Legion is on the move, and the spark blew up. The spark isn't one of a kind. The traitor Cicero is already searching for another one. Hold on. How did you turn up here in the Duke's secret room? You think a two-bit rat gangster could have found out about the Western Range Mine? You were the one who told him. What are you really up to? Keeping the lid on the spark has been the mission of the Cat Clan for a thousand years. I was planning to use Dew to get the spark, then bury it deep underground, but... Is the spark really that important? Without the spark, Dew would have been a mere sneaky rumor monger. As guardians of the spark, the Cat Clan has seen countless lunatics offer themselves up to it. The existence of the spark always brings disaster. Help me bury the secret, please. Why do you trust me? 
Why wouldn't I seek the spark too? Thick-headed numbskulls are hard to find nowadays. Hmm. Did you say there is another spark? There is another one in the underground lake. We need to get to it before Cicero does. I must go now. Hey, silly bunny. Catch up to us when you've made up your mind. You still owe me, you know. What are you waiting for, you dumb rabbit? Lady Q left. Are you going to let her face Cicero alone? I'm going after her. To reach the underground lake, you must first go to the underwater base and find the oxygen mask. Don't ask me how I know. I got stiffed once. Go after her, rabbit. Remember to use the radio to stay in touch. Wait, what are you planning to do? Hey, my ears aren't as sensitive as yours. <sighs> you gave me such a fright. So, does that mean we're a team now? If I stick close to you, you won't be able to get up to any of your tricks. I don't have time to play hide and seek with you. Seriously, though, to get to the underground lake, you must first... Go to the underwater base and find the oxygen mask. You and Urso were already in on this. Oh, you found us out. In that case, I'll tell you what to do once you get to the underground lake. Remember, use the bear's radio. This team is purely temporary, and I don't want to be indebted to you. That really breaks my heart. I was hoping you'd finish the mission for me if I don't come back. You want to settle the debt now? See you at the underground lake, silly bunny. Noodles are famous in Torch City. food that is cheap and keeps you coming back for more. Enjoy all you can eat at Shoe. You found it so quick. Wow. You found so many. I know. This is my favorite gizmo. Did you find it? Welcome to Jingles' shop. Thank you for your business.
Ray, let's sync maps. I'm at the underwater base. Where is that mask you mentioned? The oxygen mask. The latest underwater rebreather device. I've marked its exact location on the map. The Iron Dogs don't need to breathe, so why does the underwater base have something like this? Ho oh, ho! Because it's from the great Ferdizan inventor, Urso! With it, you have free access to the sewers, the underground lake, and even the outer sea! <laughs> no wonder the Iron Dogs took them all away. Good thing I was smart enough and included a tracking device! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, you seemed like you were having so much fun, so I came to cheer you on. There's a tough hexapod. Hmm. New model? Back in our day, we never saw iron dogs that could enter water. Hmm. Even the underwater areas are guarded. The Legion has really grown in strength over the years. You'll take them down, however many there are.
you again. This time, you have reason to let me go. Tell me. If you hurt me this time, it means there was no point in you letting me go last time. Let it be pointless then. I get up at 7 every morning and iron my tie. I then go to the energy station to get a full 8-hour charge and pick up a 4-hour temporary battery. I start work at 8 o'clock. I must check, inspect, and monitor the mission roster for 1,000 soldiers every day. Enough talking. To Ferguson's, we are the enemy, the Iron Dogs. To the heads of the Legion, however, we are mere cogs in the wheel, churning out work. Patrolling and writing reports both consume a lot of power. We must stay at our posts, even if we are low on battery or have rusty components. You can shut up now. All right. Before I shut up, though, I will repeat this one more time. Civilized Ferguson, please allow me to leave in a fitting manner.
soon. Yeah. 